All right, so for today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create phases and how to assign and how to make new pages that reflect those phases. So to start off, we're going to go up here to the Manage tab. We're going to click on Phases. And then here we already have an existing phase and new construction phase, and we want to add a demolition phase. So we have existing selected. Next, we're going to click after and we can come into here phase one and rename that to be demolition demolition okay and we'll go ahead and click apply and then click okay and then what we're going to do we're going to come over to our project browser and we're going to take our level one that we can see right here and then we're going to right click and go to duplicate view click duplicate and then we'll go ahead and change the name of this to be our to be demolition we will go ahead and rename our level one here existing and then we'll go ahead click yes for that and we'll go ahead and we're going to duplicate again to create our new construction phase. All right, so so far everything's pretty simple, um, <coughs> what we got here. And now what we're going to do to make sure that everything lines up right and you can actually see what is happening on those phases, we're going to go to each of those phases. We'll start with our existing and we'll come over to the properties tab. I'm going to scroll all the way down to here where it says phasing. And in order to see what um, will be here during the existing phase, we'll click over here and just change that to existing and then hit apply. And then next we'll come over to our, we'll go this way, we'll go to demolition. Yeah. Go to properties again. I'm going to change it so that in this tab, on well, on this floor plan, a demolition that all we see is the demolition. And as you can see, both times the walls have disappeared that I have put up for this building. And that's because all of them um, are set to be a part of new construction. So when I come back to new construction, they show up here. And this phase is already set to new construction. So all that's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Um, and one more quick bonus I'll share with you all is how to change these things to show what phase, these walls or components to what phase they will be a part of. So we'll just do, for example, this wall. Say that this wall is a wall that's already there we're going to say phase created instead of new construction we can put existing and then if that wall is going to stay there phase demolition um, we're just going to leave that at none we're going to go ahead and click apply so now when we come to existing that wall is already there and i'm actually going to switch and make all of my walls here um, be created as existing because i want them to be there um, at the very beginning of this project. So that's that's what we have for you today. It's pretty simple to create phases and to um, assign everything that you need to be able to be in each phase. And hope that was helpful to you. Thank you very much.